Hey folks, Sean Kimbrough here with Chesapeake Light Tackle. I'm feeling right at home here at Angler's Whiskey Cellar. Brand new section of the store and just look at this selection. And this is not your average run of the mill bourbon and rye whiskey that they've got in here. They have got some really nice wines too, but this is some top shelf stuff. Uh, and uh, if you know me, you know that uh, you know I like my whiskey. And you know we're really fortunate here in the Chesapeake region. We live in a really unique area and most of us live here because uh, the economic opportunities. We work hard, but we also play hard. We fish hard and we hunt hard. And you know what? Sometimes you need to slow down after a good day of hunting or fishing and enjoy a good beverage. We're not talking about drinking just to get drunk here. We're talking about the good stuff and enjoying it to relax and open up your mind. And I wanted to show you a few of my favorites that they've got here in the whiskey cellar. And we'll start with this good old Jack Daniels. You know, I'm a Tennessee boy, born and raised and uh, lived up here for about 15 years now, but I like my old number seven uh, and, uh, and have been to the distillery several times. But they, so they've got the basics here, but look at this. Try to find this somewhere right now. You won't find it hardly anywhere, but they've got it here in the Angler's Whiskey Cellar. Uh, they've got the single barrel rye, the uh, single barrel barrel proof, and then just the single barrel select, which is a blend of some of the Jack Daniels finest. Uh, good Tennessee whiskey, and if you know Jack Daniels, got that peanut buttery bubblegum uh, aftertaste to it that just, just makes me feel right at home. Here's another one of my favorites, the Hughes Bell of Bedford. Now, I'm a rye whiskey drinker, but sometimes I'll switch over and drink bourbon. But uh, This is also one of my favorite ryes. Uh, Hughes also makes a bourbon, I believe, and it's, it's also really good. Check that one out. I think you'll probably like it. Sometimes they have a single barrel in here as well. Uh, Woodford Reserve, a good basic whiskey that's good. I mean, they've got some single barrels too, but it's also great for mixing. Uh, and, and we'll maybe get a chance to uh, mix some cocktails in the shop or do some whiskey tasting in the shop. In fact, we're planning on doing that at least once a month uh, for the next few months. We're gonna come over to my shop on Ken Island and we're gonna taste some whiskey. We'll taste some of these same things that we're talking about today. Let me show you another one. Uh, let me see what I can find here. Oh, I wanted to show you this real inexpensive bottle of whiskey it's like $25 a bottle it's delicious if you go to some of the finest bars in Washington DC or Baltimore and order an old-fashioned that's probably what they're gonna be making it with because it's such a good um, whiskey such a good whiskey or and rye and also I like this wilderness trail rye another good Kentucky rye whiskey hard to find they've got it here in the English whiskey cellar so that's another good one to try so I hope you'll stop by and check it out. Check out the grand opening that's coming up and uh, you, won't be, uh, you won't be disappointed.